Today is another great milestone in the upgrades of the Bruce Highway. Uh, we've all seen that uh, just the news recently about uh, the RACQ uh, identifying the Bruce Highway as one of the country's largest uh, uh, problem spots with our road networks. But we are, uh, we are fixing that. We are ensuring through significant funds, both state and federal funds, that we are ensuring that people get home sooner and safer. And what we're celebrating today is the, the, the laying of the first piles for the Australia's first diverging diamond interchange. And uh, this will see uh, significant savings for taxpayers. It'll mean that uh, we'll get much better flows of traffic coming off Caloundra Road and onto the Sunshine, onto the Bruce Highway, and in fact, on the road to uh, the Steve Irwin Way. Uh, I know that Sunshine Coast locals are screaming out for better infrastructure. $1.1 billion this project was originally costed at. And then when uh, Fulton Hogan Seymour White won the tender, that contract was originally reduced down to around about $929 million. And uh, I'm really proud to, uh, to say that there have been even more cost savings. Uh, to, and that, that contract came down again to $812 million. So that's a saving of nearly $300 million. And why is that so? One of the great things that we're seeing now in contracting with governments is uh, we're seeing governments' appetite for engaging more with Tier 2 contractors. You know, we, we need to press governments of all persuasions to be dealing with Tier 2 contractors rather than just the large multinational companies, the Tier 1s. And uh, Fulton Hogan, Seymour White, as joint venture partners, have been able to provide significant savings through some great designs uh, like this diverging diamond interchange. And what that means is significant savings, nearly $300 million for taxpayers. And what that means is that we'll be able to use that uh, in other projects. The, the federal government has uh, allocated another $1.5 billion in the last two federal budgets for further upgrades between Sunshine, um, between Caloundra Road and, uh, and Pine Rivers. Uh, look, this is a highly innovative project. Uh, the, the first diverging diamond interchange in the whole country and we've seen nearly a hundred of these in the United States. Uh, they're very efficient in the way they minimise the use of land, uh, but what we'll see is a tripling of capacity across the Bruce Highway here at Caloundra Road, uh, and we're going to see a whole range of innovations. We'll see new service roads, we'll see new cycleways and active ways. Uh, this is setting up this uh, whole sector. It's a mammoth sight when you drive through the Bruce Highway here, uh, and, but what that means is a safer road system here in, on the, at the back of the Sunshine Coast on the Bruce Highway. That's terrific for all the visitors that come through here, but particularly for the residents uh, this is uh, there's a very bad road safety record here at the Caloundra Road Interchange. Too many crashes, too many people hurt. What we'll see is a much safer road environment for locals and everybody who comes through here. A lot of visitors love this area right throughout South East Queensland and they will be absolutely ecstatic, I know, to see this project completed uh, towards the end of 2020. Uh, and of course today we see seven of the piles uh, are already in out of the 36 piles to build this much bigger overpass, be much higher, much wider, much greater capacity. Uh, and uh, it's very exciting to see this, uh, this site uh, progress uh, every month. There's something different, there's something new, you can see a lot happening. That's because there's 680 jobs here uh, contributing to this mammoth project, uh, jointly funded by the Palaszczuk government and the federal government. Great to work with them uh, for better outcomes for motorists here on the Sunshine Coast, but also, of course, for the whole of South East Queensland. Uh, here we have a national first with this interchange. Uh, in the future, we're hoping for a national first with fast rail. Uh, the Sunshine Coast is leading the way when it comes to transport infrastructure. Uh, the federal government now has $10 billion committed to the Bruce Highway. And what we see today is a project that uh, gives the environment a tick, the economy a tick, efficiency a tick, and safety a tick. 
Uh, this is a great project. It's good news for South East Queensland. It's terrific news for the Sunshine Coast. This is going to make sure people can get home safer. This is going to make sure people can spend more time with family rather than on the roads. This is going to make sure that we have a better environment with uh, less impingement on, uh, on the forest. Um, and here we have an example of when the federal government and state government collectively put their shoulders to the wheel, uh, we can get things done and it's the Sunshine Coast that's leading the way with it.